the only greatest fear that we have, some of us, mm -hmm. we have young families, is that because we speak the truth, mm. the truth that this regime does not appreciate, mm. the next possible thing is assassinations that look like genuine accidents. That is what you will see. Yes. We hope we don't get there. <laughs> I want to thank our viewers and uh, really appreciate your comments on uh, this program of uh, Savage Politics. Uh, today I have a young politician, a youthful politician, who I want to have a conversation with so that we really uh, can know he's a member of parliament. His name is uh, Anthony Kibagendi. Anthony Kibagendi is a youthful leader, elected on an ODM ticket. He's a member of parliament for Kitutu Chache. Uh, they say Kitutu Chache South, but uh, with the little kiss here, I know. <laughs> Chache means South, so yes. it is Kitutu South South. Yes. Welcome, Thank Kibagendi. You. Welcome to this program. It's a pleasure. Yes. Uh, thank you so much uh, yes. for hosting me thank you. on this show. Uh, of course, I watched uh, the two, three that you've hosted, yes. and it's indeed uh, a pleasure to be here. The public feels the current parliament is actually uh, directed by the executive on all that it does. So I want you to make general comments. You are there currently. You know how it feels. And uh, is it true Parliament has been emasculated? Uh, the bills that are being passed, are the members of Parliament in touch with the common man, the taxes and other issues? So general comment on how Parliament is working. Great. Uh, first, I would like to mention that I'm a first-time member of Parliament. Yes. Uh, although I have tried to run before two, three times, and I wasn't successful. And each time I was inspired by uh, especially the members of parliament that I saw that used to debate, members of parliament that used to stand in that august house and demonstrate that they are pushing the agenda of the common monarchy. It is unfortunate that I've gotten into the 13th parliament that is the least effective in terms of their fight for uh, reforms, in terms of their representation, representing the views and the wishes of the masses of this country. Uh, last year, when uh, the, 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 the bill, the finance bill 2023 was presented to, to, to parliament, a majority of us, uh, including those in, uh, in, in the majority side, or Kenya Kwanzaa, uh, moved to their constituencies. And in their constituencies, they spoke about the proposals that were in that particular bill proposals to increase uh, taxes, especially on fuel, from uh, the, the VAT from 8% to 16% to try and uh, match the rest of the VAT on other products. They gave their, they spoke about the other proposals on uh, housing levy, the taxes that were being levied on various other things. And a majority of them were told by their constituents that please, when you go to Nairobi, vote no for this particular bill. But because Parliament has become a conduit, mm -hmm. Parliament has become an appendage of the executive, mm -hmm. an appendage of the president, the president and the executive who have a huge appetite for taxes and levies that they use not to transform this country or develop this country. They use that to manipulate the masses by skewing development by skewing job opportunities. The second thing that they did uh, after passing, they pushed for the passing of that particular uh, bill, whereby MPs were literally called to Naivasha and paid and turned up on the day of voting and they pushed us. There were more than we were. Uh, that's uh, Kenya Kwanzaa or the majority side. And of course they managed to buy a few from the opposition. And, or the minority side. 
they passed that. And the courts managed to stop a few of uh, implementation of a few clauses. Yes. My biggest problem is uh, you are the opposition. Yes. The opposition is supposed to hold uh, the government side to account. Yes. And uh, the opposition has its leadership. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, you even said that uh, at a certain time, some members of the opposition were bought to pass yes, certain, certain tax, tax bills mm -hmm. that uh, honestly, the common Kenyan had said no to. What is happening to the leadership of the opposition? Doesn't it call its members to account? The opposition actually does very well through our, our leadership. Uh, uh, that is uh, Honorable Opio Wandai mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Robert Mbui, and of course uh, the various whips that we have. Honestly, you are that. telling me that a few individuals on a, uh, a clear issue as it is will decide because of friendship or other considerations. There is no friendship. Let us cru other considerations. Other considerations, yes. Because of other considerations, yes, they'll crucify the entire farming community in the country. Imagine. Uh, because of other considerations. That is the unfortunate bit with the current parliament, which we are not so proud of. And a lot of other things that we may talk about, mm -hmm. uh, like currently, uh, if you look at the skilled employment, mm -hmm. In, in government, whereby, like not my community, mm. the, where I come from, a bulk of the people who supported this particular regime mm. are not getting genuine, permanent, and pensionable jobs mm. or proper contract jobs mm -hmm. where they earn a monthly salary. Mm -hmm. They are getting either board memberships or university council memberships. Mm -hmm. You know, board members meet when they, they are very serious. Maybe issues. quarterly or even yes. twice a year, depending the or a month. Mm. Meet like twenty-four times a year. Mm. But none of my people is in that in, in, in that bracket. Mm -hmm. Because the serious boards are these big corporations like KRA, like uh, uh, KPA, those ones have regular uh, and a maximum of twenty-four. But they are thrown to like bombers of Kenya, places like uh, University of Nairobi, Embu University, so that they assume that our people have been rewarded. Yet, since independence, the Kisi community has never lacked a permanent secretary, mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. While the president appoints almost 15 permanent secretaries from his uh, Rift Valley backyard, another 10, 15 from uh, the larger Mount Kenya, another like four from uh, uh, Upper Eastern, you know, yet a community like my community doesn't get nothing. When you go to the advisory opportunity. So you have no shares in the government because you are told well, it's a government of shareholders. It is a government of shares. Yet, Honorable uh, Jirongo, uh, we all pay taxes. That is the unfortunate bit. You haven't asked me about skewed development. Mm. Recently, there's something called budgeted corruption. Mm -hmm. You had the control of budget talk about it. Mm -hmm. Budgeted corruption, I had that. Budgeted corruption, whereby we plan from the treasury. By the way, even before you explain it, yes, I just want you to explain to me, because I don't know whether it is true, that uh, the entire Western province <coughs> is given uh, 50 million. Maybe Nyanza is given zero. And our constituency is yes. given 1.4 billion. Yes. Does our constituents have the capacity to consume 1.4 billion? Not and possible. it is not for uh, certain development. It is it for is rehabilitation. rehabilitation of roads. <laughs> is it true that you people in parliament passed 1.4 billion to go to our constituency for rehabilitation of feeder roads? It is not. Yes, that was passed. Now, that is the budget for 2023, the one we fought aggressively. Mm -hmm. Kikuyu constituency mm -hmm. got 1.45 billion shillings mm -hmm. for Kera. You know, Kera is Kenya. The small roads. roads. Yeah, the rural roads. 
it is not able to absorb. Who is the member of parliament for that constituency? The majority leader Kimani Chumwa. Aha, so is it uh, budgeted? It is, a, it is budgeted corruption. Is it the one that uh, is used because you say the members of parliament are bought? No, the, when they are being bought, mm. the, the person pushing that that time will raise money to buy. Mm. This one is now where they push money to certain constituencies, mm -hmm. and then that money, this is a fraction of his VIT is used to actually do the job. The rest, the rest is on, uh, removed. And then it will be used for other purposes. Phantom projects. Phantom. Uh, various other things will, will, you say, other considerations. Mm. They will be used to do to push the other considerations. So we made a lot of noise about it. Kenyans made a lot of noise about it. Of course, Kera, uh, to demonstrate to the public that there's something that has been done, they cancelled. But I can tell you who is going to check Kera, whether they cancelled it or not. They can only say that really, to the newspaper. What you are telling me, mm is that Kenyans have nowhere to look. They can't look at their leaders. Now that uh, somebody was mentioning to me that even when they come to your places, particularly those members of the ruling uh, party, yes. they come with police forms, uh, what forms? Teacher recruitment forms. And uh, teacher recruitment forms. And uh, the, the church again is at it. They are using the church yes. to do all these things. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where, where, as leaders, do you expect Kenyans to turn to? It is where we, oh, we are at crossroads, whereby we say we were elected to represent the people. But now our MPs have become representatives or conduits or appendages of the executive. Whereby, when they come to constituencies of someone like Kibagendi, mm -hmm. because of being a truthful man, because of saying what I'm saying, mm -hmm. for them to bring you down, they'll come with the employment opportunities, yeah? Which are, number one, illegal. That is not how you employ teachers. Mm -hmm. Teachers are supposed to be recruited by TSC. Mm -hmm. And if we're employing 20,000 teachers, mm -hmm. they need to be equitably distributed, distributed across, across the, the country. Four, 200 and almost 310 mm -hmm. some counties, mm -hmm. yeah? So that everyone gets every uh, of course the equitability uh, population yes. all those but things now, will be put into consideration. What they do is there are twenty thousand that yeah. are being recruited. Mm -hmm. They do ten thousand equitable, mm -hmm. and then the ten thousand will be held and then be used for political reasons. The same to the police. Mm -hmm. The same to KWS. So we are moving from what we used to have, that was patriotism, the urge to serve the desire to represent your country, the desire to serve your country to bribery. Number two, most of these MPs from probably where I come from, they have, the, again, their proxies. Mm -hmm. If they're given 200 appointment letters mm -hmm. or forms for appointment, they again have their proxies who sell those particular letters for 200,000 shillings, for 300,000 shillings to extremely poor people. Looking at this, because this seems to be a scheme that nobody is just about to stop. And even some of them, when they get those forms we hear, those forms are sold to people on the ground, mm -hmm. that a member of parliament is told or given things that he's not supposed to be doing. Instead of saying there is public service commission which needs to employ all Kenyans equitably, mm -hmm. he takes those forms and uh, it's a fundraising uh, opportunity for some of them to uh, uh, put money in their pocket. Now, with this kind of culture, with the anger you are creating in the common Kenyan, how does the future look like for this country? The future is bleak. The future is uh, disturbing. It is sad where we are headed to. Uh, you said uh, members of parliament should not be running NGCDF, but I want to differ on that. Before I became a member of parliament, mm -hmm. I served as an advisor to the current president on youth affairs mm -hmm. and uh, political affairs. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, when we were doing the tanga tanga, mm -hmm. everywhere you went, the only genuine, visible, standout projects were NGCDF projects. Mm -hmm. You see them in schools. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, you see them in. Uh, You'll see the same in, 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 in uh, what we call chief's offices, police stations. And again, 
even students and parents can tell you the only actual bursaries we get mm -hmm. are from NGCDF. Mm -hmm. So NGCDF has been transformative. Mm -hmm. While people keep complaining, you cannot really put the same kind of view on what governors are doing. Mm -hmm. A bulk of governors have overemployed. Mm -hmm. So 70, almost 70 to 80 percent of their income mm -hmm. or the revenue or the money that is sent from treasury allocation mm -hmm. actually goes to recurrent expenditure. Mm -hmm. Paying salaries, taking care of other recurrent expenditures like uh, toners. For sure, I, I, I really you know, uh, so I want to agree with you. GF is has been transformative. No, but again, mm -hmm. it has become what the executive uses sometimes to arm twist us. Mm -hmm. Because instead of allocating NDCDF, let's say 50 billion, mm -hmm. and then you take that fund and put it in the account of the board mm -hmm. so that the board can distribute. distribute to the constituencies. Now, they keep holding on to it. They hold on to it until you do something and then they release. They hold on to it, you pass the, finance, the health, the social health insurance, so, and then they release. So it has become something that is used to systematically oppress the masses in the way it is dispersed. While when it is dispersed, it is transformative, the way the executive uses it is inappropriate. There are so many things that are happening, and they happen daily, at a very fast rate, pulling us down at the highest speed. Do you expect us to survive up to 2027? At this rate, with the things that are happening, with the frustration, the common man has. The issue of getting to 2027 is about mm. let's use these people to get back to power. They are not, they are, they are not doing what I am doing. Mm. What I am doing in my constituents is to work hard, transform lives, demonstrate to our people how they can get jobs, Yeah, because there are no jobs in Kenya. So the easiest and best way to get jobs is to look for jobs beyond our borders. And the jobs are in the West. Now, when the government realized that most Kenyans mm -hmm. are not able to get jobs in Kenya, mm -hmm. they want to go to uh, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, the US, Australia for nursing jobs and technical jobs. Technical jobs include plumbing, electrical, uh, welding, and such like opportunities. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the government has done? Instead of empowering these people mm -hmm. to go for these jobs, they've gone ahead to increase the cost of acquiring a passport from 4,000 shillings to 7,000 shillings. <laughs> we have a regime that is determined mm -hmm. to oppress its people. Right now, there's a populist utterance the president made yesterday that I've said no tax on bread. That is not enough. Why do I pay tax? It has never been a tax on bread, so there is nothing you're announcing. Yeah, But now... It, they, they, it's they, not that you have removed they, they tax from bread. Now, It has not been there. Now, yeah. look, they're introducing car tax. Mm. If you own a vehicle, you'll pay a certain percentage. I don't know whether it is 1% or 2% of the value. It is like almost double. You're paying insurance double. Mm. Yeah? And they'll be doing it through the insurance companies. Mm. Now, when you're purchasing this car, mm. you already paid taxes. Mm. You, do. you own this car for the next 10 years. You're buying fuel which is taxed. You buy fuel that is taxed, fuel that is levied. Mm -hmm. You know, you pay, there's yeah. tax, tax and, and then there's levy. Mm -hmm. And then you use oil that is taxed, taxed. and levied. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they go on, the insurance that you put on your vehicle is taxed. It's taxed, of course. Now they're introducing car tax. The, all this is to increase the pool from where looting can be done. Nothing else. It is not about service delivery. They need to demonstrate to us, the past one year, we've collected this amount of money. This amount has gone into this, this amount has gone to this, this amount into this, and this amount into this. That is where I also want to call upon the fourth estate, 
mm-hmm. the media to also step up and help some of us who are able to speak. Mm-hmm. The only greatest fear that we have, some of us, mm-hmm. we have young families, is that because we speak the truth, mm-hmm. the truth that this regime does not appreciate, mm-hmm. the next possible thing is assassinations that look like genuine accidents. That is what you will see. We hope we don't get there. You know, they say, you can fool some people sometimes, Mm -hmm. but you cannot fool all the people. Actually, that's what I wanted to tell you. How do this, they think Kenyans are totally stupid. That is now what they can be manipulated from morning up to evening. That is now what they think. And you know, the other day, I got an opportunity to travel with a, a member of parliament, a lady member of parliament for, uh, I'm very big on creating awareness on matters to do with drugs and substance abuse. Mm. So I was invited to an international conference in Vienna. So while we are on our way, I sat next to this member of parliament that we are traveling with, and she told me something profound. Mm. She told me, there are two things. If you believe in God, mm you should learn that you're not supposed to break the Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. And if you do, you need to know that you repent. You repent. Mm-hmm. But if you do it repeatedly, it means that is your way of life. You've chosen to break the mm-hmm. Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. Do not kill, do not do this, do not do that. Mm-hmm. And if you don't believe in God, mm-hmm. you believe in nature. Mm-hmm. Nature as well has a way of dealing with mischief. Mm-hmm. and unfairness. Mm-hmm. It is called karma. Mm-hmm. That is what this member of parliament told me. Mm-hmm. And then she went on to tell me, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know how uh, Tanzanians will take this, but Honorable Magufuli, when he took over power, mm-hmm. it was out of, he, come, he came from a small community mm-hmm. and there is no major tribalism in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. It is purely Chama Cha. Yeah, CCM. CCM. Now, unfortunately, for the first time, the opposition leader then, he was called Lowasa the late, mm. uh, his Maasai, he created a new movement in Tanzania mm-hmm. that was scary because people just knew there is no opposition. Mm-hmm. So, Magufuli won by a very big margin, mm-hmm. but he became fearful mm-hmm. of the opposition. Mm-hmm. Now, what Magufuli did, mm. he started, or his, the system, mm. I don't want to say Magufuli, mm. the system mm-hmm. started crushing mm. dissent, mm. crushing the media, mm. sometimes switching off the internet, mm. calling uh, uh, musicians to tell them this is an inappropriate, you cannot say this, mm-hmm. you cannot say that. Mm-hmm. The opposition leader then was actually about to be assassinated. He stayed in Nairobi hospital for almost four months. Mm. And opposition councillors mm. deep in the rural areas were actually assassinated. When you were against government, they used to eliminate. But what happened with all that power, with all that strength, with all that might, not in a bad way, this is a story I was being told. She told me a very small thing, Mm. not the army, no, not the police, no, COVID, COVID took him. But what I'm saying is, we must thank the new leadership in Tanzania for embracing uh, Mama Suluhu Suluhu. has really stabilized that country. Yes, and uh, you look at it today. uh, There's more press freedom, a lot of it, and. if you look at uh, our KCB, our KCB is going down. The Tanzania Commercial Bank, which they started just the other day, is growing at a rate that you cannot believe. Yes. Uh, generally, when you go to Tanzania today, you will see transformation. You will see things moving. Even the opposition when you look at the port, is allowed to speak. Yes, and you look at the number of ships uh, docking. Uh, waiting to dock, Yes, it tells you this country, the economy is moving. Yes. So surely for Mama Even Sobobo, our neighbors, even our neighbors are prefer to do business with Tanzania rather than do with Kenya because of 
the bureaucracies involved and the demands. Actually, they look at us as thieves. We are stealing <laughs> Tanzania, from them. Tanzanians look at us as people who are not genuine. Even when you just go as a tourist, they look at you as... The region generally. Is, is your card genuine? Yeah, you start thinking about you know, Kenya. And Panama. you know, that happens because the top has portrayed that to the rest of the world. Tell me. Yes. We talk about democracy. Yeah. We talk about just governance. We talk about accountability. Uh, we talk about a lot of things that were the yardstick. Yes. The West used to judge an African leader or the, develop the leaders in the developing world. Mm -hmm. What has happened? Uh, because that yardstick doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Is it interest? No, because it really doesn't matter what you do as long as we are dancing to the tune of the West. Actually, that is what is happening. You know, our... They sorry, give you to say, sorry to say this. Yes. Uh, uh, with utmost respect to our president, whom uh, literally mentored me in my final uh, journey to become a member of parliament, uh, you know, when he speaks in African fora, mm -hmm. when he speaks at the African Union, mm -hmm. when he speaks at conferences across Africa, mm -hmm. he speaks as a Pan-African. Mm -hmm. When he speaks even in the West where we have uh, presidents from Africa, mm -hmm. he speaks like so a Pan-African. We have an active However, yes. however, is uh, medium he is right now a collaborator of the people who are ensuring that we do not grow economically why when you give in to demands of imf that you need to suck this number of people you need to increase this amount of taxes you need to levy people like this you need to do this because the world bank has i don't think you. it's imf now I don't think it's IMF. It is not IMF. What I'm saying is, if you look at if, how... If, as they, a leader, mm -hmm. you understand where you are coming from and where you are going, if your interest is to serve those that gave you the mandate to serve them, yes, your first priority is to protect those that put you where absolutely, you are. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's nobody else who can change your vision if you have any at all. Yes. What is shocking me... <laughs> Today. What did you just say? <laughs> There's what nobody is... who can change your vision if you have any at all. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Why would one change it? Yes. If you have a clear vision. Mm -hmm. So for me, I have, we used to have uh, Mama Kaya yeah, and uh, the other Ojuan. one, Jitimbi, mm -hmm. Have we decided that we are acting leaders? that I will go and vote for taxes to kill you, then I'm bribed by a few forms to employ people, and I come home and say, I'm delivering. That we are that stupid as Kenyans, that we're incapable of judging your incapability as a leader. That right across board. From MCA all the way to the top. Yes. Uh, that is the truth. The, the problem we've had in this country with even the former governments that the current regime was used to hoodwink the masses was that the former regimes used to play around with you people. No, they so would win they get in, everybody they, they knows. They get into power. You cry then, before God yeah. or who prophesizes that you'll win. That was the hoodwinking, we know that. Now, now yeah. they went on, by the, he used to be your friend. Yeah, tell he me is. about it. He's my friend. He don't tell me about it. <laughs> he is. Yes. Why don't you talk to him as the president of this country? No, you, you, you give me a way out. To, he to, has his to, own way. To, to genuinely stop oppressing Kenyans. No, he has his own way of sorting out issues. You as a leader. Now, I was saying. You expect that there's another leader from out there who will come and sort out the people. Now, well. the people from out there yes. come to actually manipulate those at the top to manipulate us further. The West. How can somebody manipulate me and I know I'm being manipulated? That is the unfortunate this thing. Is, this is the situation. I mean, when uh, a member of parliament says I'm manipulated, 
I am not manipulated. Is it myself. your stomach which is manipulated or your head? Because there must be something that is being manipulated. There is something called because you have a brain that can see there is something where you need to go. There is something called indoctrination. Mm -hmm. uh, indoctrination mm -hmm. is something that is done over time. Yes. They they take you in a certain direction, mm -hmm. a certain direction. Little by little. Little by little. Mm -hmm. You know, when a frog, mm -hmm. when you put a frog in boiling water. No, you don't put it in boiling water. You when you put, put it, it in water and start boiling. And, and start boiling, it will not realize that it's burning. That is the, the kind of... So the Kenyan people, call the members of parliament, who are elected I, 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 to go I, and defend how them, I wish, how I wish a big could, number. How I wish we could separate no, these numbers, numbers of parliament. I'm not saying all of them. Yes. I'm saying a big number. Yes. You can describe them as frogs in water, that is the heat has been put on. Yes. They are burning. Yes. And they are not they are, aware they are burning. They are not aware they are burning. They are not aware. I can tell you that. The judgment is very close. Judgment is close. Mm -hmm. Now, what they are doing is this, mm -hmm. what you don't know, mm -hmm. is the budgeted corruption. Mm -hmm. So that these people can have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Like now in my constituency, the person. Money will become paper when somebody is absolutely. I mean, when it gets to a certain point, money is irrelevant. It, it will get to that point. Yeah. You know, the other day in uh, Senegal, the president, Macky Sall, wanted to change the constitution so that he can run for another uh, uh, term. Mm -hmm. When Macky Sall got, decided to do that, he took the strongest opposition leader and brought him to government mm -hmm. so that they have a majority members of parliament mm -hmm. and then they changed the constitution. Mm -hmm. Some young man, who had run also, mm -hmm. and that time he was looked at like a joker, mm -hmm. decided that these people are not going to change this constitution. Mm -hmm. He started going around the country. Initially, people dismissed him. Mm -hmm. In a short while, the, the whole country caught the fire, mm -hmm. and the masses said, you will not change the constitution. They tried to arrest him, they put him in jail. One million people went to that jail. Mm. to get him out. Mm. He became so powerful. We used to tell them, on Monday, we are not going to work. And nobody was going to work. Mm. Even the civil service got into it. Mm. It got to a point where they realized they cannot actually change the constitution. Mm. So the president decided to take his stooge, his proxy, mm. to push as president. Mm. Now, when he was pushing his person, the polls were showing that this opposition leader was going to be president. Mm. So what did he do? He decided, now let's take this guy and put him in jail. Mm -hmm. Sonko. Yeah, they put Sonko Osman in mm -hmm. jail so that the 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 the, 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 the preferred candidate of the government the would win. cost to victory. Mm -hmm. But do you know what? Sonko's pal was out there. Sonko just said, "Vote for my." When friend. you vote for so and so, you are voting for. You Sonko. are voting for Sonko. Mm -hmm. They got shocked with all the money they were spending. Mm -hmm. Remember, France invested heavily in Macky Sall's candidate, mm -hmm. candidate, candidate. Mm -hmm. they lost to this young man. Unikisi, so, let's talk about where you come from. Yes. And you as a leader from there. Yes. We agree there's a mess in the leadership in this country. Yes. And I think a majority of Kenyans agree yeah. it is a total mess. Mm -hmm. Even the polls that they keep unleashing are falsified. Of course. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows those nonsense. They'll not work. Now, tell me, who is this, the kind of leader who will move this country to the next step and in uh, the next stage? And uh, do you have somebody in mind who you think understands exactly uh, what needs to be done to this country for us now to focus on to the right route and to move to the next uh, uh, step? Bearing in mind that all of us want to avoid a calamity. We want to avoid a situation where Kenyans go on the streets, where there is kind of a revolution, and we have no control on exactly, because it might be somebody even with the worst intentions mm -hmm. who pretends during, during such a disturbance. And we end up even in our stage. The situation still can be salvaged. As far as I'm concerned, yes. Uh, what kind of leadership uh, are you looking at? And uh, if at any time, or in your view, 
you have seen those characteristics uh, uh, amongst our leaders so that people can start thinking about these people. Now, what we are saying, mm. the president, Dr. William Ruto, that I served diligently, can actually transform this country in these three years. If he keeps talking about Singapore, he keeps talking about what we are seeing in other nations, if the president applies the principle of meritocracy, Mm -hmm. where the best person suited for this job actually is the person who gets that job. You could be suited. You could not, be the best person. Not your tribe's mate. Mm -hmm. You could be the best person suited for a job. Mm -hmm. But you must drive towards a certain vision. And if your vision is to build the road from the airport, uh, come build parklands, go up to the UN because you want to build a picture, because that's where most of the Western uh, diplomats live. Yes. You want them to go away with a picture that there is development, development. Mm -hmm. and uh, that they can move, yet the rest of uh, the country is in a mess. Uh, you, you have to be genuine and have a vision. Yes. Number one. And that vision is where you need competent people to help you execute. Competency. But if you are minus a vision yourself. Yes. Even if you have the most competent people, you without cannot, direction, you will not without succeed. painting a picture of exactly what you want to achieve, and without having means and ways of getting there, devising them to get there, they will never get there. And that is why I'm saying, if the president genuinely, he, he says he knows where we are going. Mm -hmm. For Do you me, believe that? I don't. That is why I have a problem with everything that is pushing, because everything that they push is about what gets to their pocket. Correct. It is about what gets to their pocket that they will use to manipulate, manipulate the, pastors. the pastors and so the voters the so that Kibagendi can be voted out, they bring in their pastors. So that the Holy Spirit can talk in tongues. <laughs> that is what... So, so that what prophecy can so come. In terms of leadership, mm. we have some very brilliant leaders, mm. including the president himself, mm -hmm. that can actually transform if they decide. Mm -hmm. There's a young man I, I, I genuinely uh, uh, appreciate the way he does his things, unfortunately belongs to that side, but he is... It's not unfortunate. Uh, Either side you belong. He, if you are a good leader, by association, you, are a good leader. you know, yeah. mm -hmm. by association sometimes you get infected. Yes. Yeah? yeah. They say... They say you avoid the unhappy and unlucky because it's infectious. Mm -hmm. That means you associate with a certain clique of people. Mm -hmm. By doing that, you get infected with the happiness, mm -hmm. yeah, and the luck. The luck. Run the, away from negativities because negativities are evil. Yes. Go for the positive now, because that's where the light is. Associating sometimes you can get infected. But I appreciate one young man mm -hmm. called Ndindi Nyo. Mm -hmm. I'm told he's good, doing he, a perfect job. He's a wonderful gentleman, mm -hmm. and he has done a wonderful job in his constituency. Correct. Not just when he became the chair of the budget committee, but throughout his leadership, mm -hmm. yeah, that he has served as a member of parliament for uh, Kiharu. He's transformative. There's a gentleman called David Oche, mm -hmm. whom I appreciate because I know David, very in, well. in, in the area that he has served, Ugenya, mm -hmm. he goes against the grain. And he still wins. And he still wins, which means he does a good job on the ground mm -hmm. to ensure he actually, that he actually wins. Mm -hmm. There are young men, even my friend Silvanus Osoro, mm -hmm. he's done a lot mm -hmm. in his constituency, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of transforming his constituency. Mm -hmm. So there are people when not infiltrated mm -hmm. or infected mm -hmm. with arrogance, mm -hmm. when not infected... Syndrome with easy money syndrome. The, mm -hmm. the easy money syndrome, mm -hmm. they can actually transform this country. There are young people and there are even old people that can do, uh, that can transform this country. I would also like to challenge you to tell me, mm -hmm. you've been in this country long enough. Mm -hmm. I know you, uh, it is history because when you are maybe, the uh, real... Maybe before you are born. When, when, when you are the real OG, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? <laughs> Uh -huh. You know, the OG is yeah. the people that run the show. Yes. Yeah. When you were the real OG, mm -hmm. we were in our, I was uh, probably below 10 years mm -hmm. in 92. Mm -hmm. 
and you we used to call shots mm -hmm. yeah uh, the people you started that journey with mm -hmm. where are they and who among them mm -hmm. can transform this country because one of them is the current president the other one is the former president a son of the uh, former president so where are some of these people that can help us you know sometimes the problem we have mm -hmm. is when you do not have institutional memory. Mm -hmm. People who have been there mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. who are there now, and who think you are well-traveled, who think where we need to go as a country. Let me tell you. Yes. I wanted to ask you to tell me the vision you have for your people, but you asked me first. Uh, the problem with human beings is one. Most people have two images. The image of Osoro, when I'm talking to him now. And the image when Osoro has money and power. Osoro now is a humble man. He wants uh, everything to be done very well. I have no idea. Because I look at you as one of the leaders we must groom. Uh, you are clear, you are welcome, you are looking forward. But I have no idea of how you will behave after pushing you to get to a certain stage, maybe with power and you know, wielding a lot of energy, force and power, and really resources. people change. That is one thing that has defeated me to judge, that people can have two personalities. You talk to a person very humble, and even today, you can see their actions are totally different. But when they pronounce what comes out of their mouth, it's totally different from the way they act. That is a life that is impossible for me. What I say is what I am. I was talking to some young men the other day, and I told them my dream was the old men were messing our country. Let us push, take over Kanu, so that us young men of those days can run the show. And we played our own, including even coming up with a calendar. Girongo, you will be in the house at six. Make sure that these old men don't come and mess up uh, the Mois my uh, head mm -hmm. and come up with a narrative and the changes against us. Mm -hmm. Sunkuli, you'll come in at 11. I sit with Sunkuli uh, in the yeah. same committee. Uh, William Ruto, come in at uh, one. Uh, one or uh, tomorrow, six o'clock. Kirwa. Uh, Kirwa wasn't part of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had a team, even Gideon, mm -hmm. the son. Gideon, you make sure that you pass home in the evening, or when it's too hard, we want something to be pushed, we look for him to push it, thinking that you are putting young leadership in place and that we shared common vision. Mm -hmm. We all had the interests of this country. So I told these young men, there were about 10. They are all uh, active politicians, and that's what I want to tell you. If you really want to implement an agenda, you cannot do it alone. And don't expect it to push a friend of yours to go ahead there to implement that agenda. You must be a team that believes in a certain vision. Not a group, a team. It must be a team that is clear on where they are coming from and where they want to go. And you make sure that the entire or most of the team succeeds in getting leadership positions. So you become each other's checkmate. Only then can I be guaranteed what we are agreeing on today with a leader will be implemented. Mm -hmm. The sorry situation is people will talk, they are so sweet, you will trust them, and then you will even be murdered on their behalf, but when they get into position of leadership, it's totally a different animal. So for you, in your vision, that must be something you always have to be careful about. Which kind of team are you working with? Do you all believe in one thing? Or do some people there believe, yes. no, believe, let me use these fools to, to get to where I want to go. Mm -hmm. That's the problem we have had. So you We've seen 
very good uh, young people, very good leaders, and we've seen young people who are horrible. We've seen all the people who are excellent leaders, and we've seen all the people who are horrible. For me, I used to believe the best leaders we can have maybe is women. There's a huge percentage of women who are good leaders, but it's a small percentage is rotten even beyond men. <laughs> That's very true. So really, you've got to sit and create a team and not a group. Mm -hmm. Those are my views. Indeed. Uh, I don't know your vision. Uh, they, they say the bigger the dream, the more important the team. Mm -hmm. And when you say a group, a group does not think the same way. No. But a team understand our purpose mm -hmm. is to achieve this particular goal. Yeah. So uh, I asked you, in the present, in the present formation, mm -hmm. who are some of the people you think that can even move as an inch? You know, we cannot necessarily move from the Kenya we have to the Singapore. It will take us 30 years. And we'll not, not necessarily. It can, can take us 10 years. This country, if you are serious, in another five, 10 years, you it can will transform be something it. it will be something else. Yeah. Now, you need to be sincere, focused, and of, honest. Of your peers and those just below your generation, whom do you think? I wouldn't want to name. I would have loved you to name. Yeah. Because if I say it, it will look like uh, I have a platform to campaign for anybody. Uh -huh. I'm not campaigning for anybody. Yes. I'm actually just trying to bring out uh -huh. for Kenyans to see who can lead them. Great. But I have very definite views. Mm -hmm. on who can make a good leader. In this but country. again, what I know about life, if you take a basin mm -hmm. with dirty water mm -hmm. and you put it under a tap, mm -hmm. a running tap with clean water, mm -hmm. what will happen? The water is dirty, but it will... Uh, over time, over time, it, it will, will clean up. Clean. It will yeah. clean up. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, what I've realized is that Instead of getting to the point of people going to civil war mm -hmm. through a revolution, mm -hmm. let us keep changing these people mm -hmm. until one time there's someone that will come in that will not want to come out. What you don't have is who, time. Who, look, yeah. who will say, no, 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 no. The people have said they want one, two, three, four, five. Why don't I do one, two, three, four, five? Let look me here. tell you, the only person have who has followed? time yes. is William. He has time. A lot of time. To literally change everything. He has a lot of time. This three years is a lot of time. If you're serious, it's a lot of time. But mm -hmm. you must have the intention. I've seen that with the You current. must have the attitude. Have you seen what has happened in El Salvador? El Salvador, there's a new president. Not very new. He's been there for a few, uh, is it a year or two? but he's transforming that country. And people can see when you're doing From the way people think, mm -hmm. he has said we have to destroy the criminal enterprises mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. And that has happened. Mm -hmm. Drug, El Salvador used to be the hub yeah. for drug, drug dealers. dealers. Mm -hmm. That is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. It was the hub for uh, international money laundering, it is coming to an end. He's gone on to his cabinet, into the police, into the judiciary, to weed out corrupt individuals. And the country is now getting in the right path. That is what you're saying. You can do that in a year or two. You can. And transform. And people will always see. Yes. Best of your intentions. Actions. People will see your intentions. Yes. And people will support you There's no if you way. have good intentions. There's no way the president, genuinely, Mr. President, you can say, you want to transform our country, read our country of corruption, read our country of tribalism, when every top opportunity that comes goes to certain community, communities, when you, you personally, with your system, have saved Linturi, who has messed up our food security for the next season. Mr. President, you have an opportunity, like your peer and your friend here, Jirongo, says that you have time to transform this country. 
don't look at us as like people who are who want to bring you down we are people who want you to perform we are people who want you to do the right thing and transform this country so that everyone can feel that they are part of this country why would you skew employment for the police for the teachers in the civil service in KWS why would you skew yes. employment of permanent secretaries and lock out some communities we have 53 43 communities and 53 PSAs you want to tell me there was no one in Kisi who deserved to be a permanent secretary or an asian in this country or a karamojong who karamojong is in uganda Turkana. sorry or even at, 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 there is a trukana in 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 in, the, in 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 that system and various other communities genuinely and when we say this instead of you reaching out for us to say there are issues 1 2 3 you send people to try and intimidate us people to try and demonstrate the way we are not working because we don't actually come to beg we think because we pay taxes we deserve genuinely it. deserve what everybody else gets in conclusion what is your vision for your people uh, my vision for my constituency is to uh, transform my constituency to become the regional agricultural uh, hub Uh, for 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 not just Kisi County but Nyanza oh, region uh, like they've said the next uh, area that we are going to have powerful cartels is in the avocado sector and uh, avocado has become uh, something that everybody is planting in in in, in Kisi County but there is a, a specific uh, right. type uh, the has avocado that I'm pushing in my constituency and the other thing my constituency is going to be the hub where you get every kind of technical person that you need from plumbers uh, uh, welders uh, all these uh, electricians building and construction uh, personnel uh, 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 tailors and what have you so that we have the the mass, uh, people who are in this field so that we can export these people uh, uh, to the west I don't want you and, to think uh, about exporting people labor The most important aspect of any economic is, growth is, is to is to is to build now when you send Kenyans to go and build out there to send you peanuts when the country has abundant natural resources that can be transformed into wealth we are selling one of our best commodity our people now when there is no opportunity that is created that is what you must create as now the, crea- the the what have created what i'm trying to do to create jobs for my people is in certain sectors and i've i've, I've stated that in agriculture in agriculture and technical personnel both for local and international markets all us will come share with you yes we also have very definite views on yes. how this country can change mm-hmm. what needs to be done yes the right ideology the right thinking the right vision mm-hmm. we can share and nobody has a monopoly of intelligence absolutely you have ideas i have ideas when and the people on the ground have, have ideas. ideas and that when is why they share say all those we ideas. do public participation so when that we share those ideas, ideas your idea and my idea can be molded into a better idea let us create a vision that everybody can participate in and everybody feels kenya belongs to them absolutely your and my they must feel from each corner that that i don't belong to this clan i belong to this constituency absolutely and i belong to a, a country called kenya Absolutely. Shukran. Thank you so much. In my closing remarks to uh, the youth of this country, we can revolutionize our country through a revolution of values. We don't have to necessarily go to the streets. We can transform